In this video, we will talk about the wheat and the chessboard problem. The legend says that a peasant invented the game of chess and brought it as a gift to the king. The king liked the game so much that he offered the peasant any gift he wanted in exchange. The peasant told the king that he wanted one grain on the first square, two grains on the second square, four grains on the third square, and so on, each time doubling the amount of grains until the last square of the chessboard. The king was surprised by the modest request and called his servants to count the grains. But soon he realized that the request was impossible to fulfill because of the enormous amount of grain needed. So, the question is, how much grain the peasant requested? We know that a chessboard has 64 squares. In the first square we need 1 grain, in the second 2 grains, in the third 4 grains, in the fourth 8 grains, in the fifth 16 grains, and so on. What we have here is a geometric sequence because each number after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding number by the same number 2. That is, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and so on. So to get the next number, each time we need to multiply by 2. Now, to represent the terms in a sequence, we usually use the letters a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, and so on. Also, notice that we can write each of these terms in exponential form using the base 2. I will bring down 1, and then I will write the second term as 2 to the first power, the third term as 2 to the second power, the fourth term as 2 to the third power, the fifth term as 2 to the fourth power, and so on. I could also write 1 as 2 to the zero power. And now because the chessboard has 64 squares, the last term will be 2 to the power of 63. That will give us a total of 64 numbers. I will complete this chessboard with these numbers and you will see how they all fit on the board. So here we have them and now we need to add them to find the total. Because this is a geometric sequence, we will use the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. The formula is s sub n equals a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n's power over 1 minus r. In this formula, a sub 1 is the first term, r represents the common ratio, that is the number that we multiply by to get the next number, and n represents the number of terms. In our problem, the first term is 1, the common ratio r equals 2, because this is the number we multiply by to get the next term, and n equals 64. Now we will replace all these numbers in the given formula to find the total number of grains. So we will have the sum of all 64 numbers equals 1, parenthesis, 1 minus 2 to the power of 64 over 1 minus 2. Then here we will use a calculator and we will use parentheses around the denominator if needed and the result will be a big number and I will write it down. So here we have the number and this is about 18 quintillion grains of wheat or to be more specific that is 18 quintillion 446 quadrillion 744 trillion, 73 billion, 709 nine million, five hundred fifty one thousand six hundred fifteen. If we make a comparison, then this is close to 2,000 times the current annual world production of wheat. I hope you enjoyed this problem. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.